Hi, I'm Caroline from The Upcoming. Thank you so much for talking to me and congratulations on our ladies. Thank you. I wonder if you could just tell us a, a bit about the film. Um, the film is a coming of age story. Uh, it's about six Catholic schoolgirls in the 90s, late 90s, uh, from Fort William, who are uh, in the school choir and they're going to Edinburgh for the day to enter a choir competition. But they're really more interested in getting drinking and chasing boys and more the more interesting things to teenage girls. Uh, so it's 24 hours in their life. Um, but it's a, a, a backdrop that I know very well because I'm Scottish and because I come from an area. And really I was, I wanted to make a film that was a kind of love poem to my big sister and her pals really. These girls that I grew up with and I thought were brilliant and magnificent wonderful creatures and I, I wanted to make a film about the kind of atmosphere that, that uh, groups of young girls generate with each other that kind of the bonds of friendship and the strains and what have you and I wanted to do something that would uh, would show the way of life that, that I grew up with that doesn't necessarily exist anymore. You've had the rights to the film for about 20 years is yeah. that right? Why yeah. was it so long coming then for you? Well, I, you know, I don't think it was me. <laughs> I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, this is way before Me Too and what have you. And um, nobody was really interested in making films about young women at the time. They didn't want you know, There's no movie stars, there's no, nothing in it for us. Women's films don't sell. You know, there was a lot of resistance. Uh, I felt there was a lot of misogyny. I mean, I come from Scotland where, where women are very strong characters anyway. and. I didn't understand that misogyny, I, 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 you know. I also feel there was, uh, you know, if it had been a film that was set in uh, Buckinghamshire uh, about a young bunch of convent girls, I think it would have been made already. Uh, I think the, you know, the idea that it was Scottish, that it didn't have any movie stars, that it, you know, was a big woman, just wasn't appealing to people. I think it was a harder sell. Yeah, it was a very hard sell. I, you know, I bought it and I kept paying each year for, to keep the rights open. So I spent a lot of money that I didn't get back because I really believed in it. You know, it's, it's my background. It's what I wanted to make a film about. So did you find any challenges when you actually were directing the film? Uh, the normal challenges, uh, you know, you've not got enough time and you've not got enough money. Uh, uh, I, I, the, the, the strangest challenge I had really was um, because I knew the subject matter so well and because I lived with it so long, I knew every inflection that the actors should be doing. So it was remarkably easy. And um, normally when you find things as easy as that, they turn out to be really crappy, one way or the other. You know, it's just like you, you think they're gonna be, it's gonna make a better film, but it doesn't whatsoever. Uh, so I was suspicious of myself that I was enjoying it too much, way too much. Uh, the, we had the girls and rehearsed them for uh, three weeks before we started. We had a long casting uh, uh, period, but that, Time really uh, was worth its weight in gold for the film. It, it, who the girls became on screen was really born in that period then. So to be honest, I had done a lot of the thinking that you don't normally do during the shooting over the 20 years prior. So when it came to shoot, it was just executing and I, I knew it very well and the girls bought into it and uh, it, it was actually a very easy shoot in many ways. Was it difficult for you to get a group that had the right chemistry on the screen then? Um, the, the, uh, the truth about that is you, you never know. You, you really must cast the individual. Uh, so, uh, and I felt the characters were well delineated on the page. So I was casting each individual. You hope that there's going to be chemistry between them, but you can't tell. But if they portrayed their characters uh, properly and accurately, then when you bring them together, some kind of combustible chemistry happens. And you explain it to them. This is, I'm after the user friends. That's why you're living together. That's why you're behaving together. Uh, it's an invisible kind of energetic bond that, that I was hopeful would get on screen. And, and I think it paid off very well, you know. How have you found the uh, Scottish film scene differs from London? Less money, uh, <laughs> for, for a start. Uh, I think uh, the difference is much the same as the difference between the countries. Uh, you know, there, there's a kind of, you know, the, we're kind of harder up there. <laughs> you know, so you can't bullshit and get away with it as easily as you can down here. Uh, 
So I think I think uh, there's a practicality and a pragmatism uh, up there about making things work because you have less money. Um, but a, a kind of authentic uh, connection with its culture that isn't the same as here. You know, there's the Scottish music, Scottish art, Scot a lot of Scottish things are, are still quite uh, approachable and part of the part of everyday life. Whereas I think here it's much more commercialised and it's and it's about selling. It's not necessarily about ele the elevation of people in the art. Uh, I, I think that's the difference that I've noticed. That it may not it may be different for other people. What do you hope that viewers will take away from the film? I hope they take away that they had such a good time they're going to tell their friends to go and see it. <laughs> 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 now, I, you know, it's it's a story. You know, there are many layers in the story. There's one layer where it's just these girls going daft. There are many other uh, textural layers, thematic, philosophical layers which you, you throw in there and you hope an audience is going to get and if they get it, great. But if they don't get it, the, the top line story should be the thing that they take through, that it is just a great deal of fun. This is a great deal of fun and they remind me of girls I know. That's really what I want them yeah, to take out. Yeah, saying, yeah, about your, your sister, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's coming up next for you? Oh, sleep. I, you <laughs> know, I, literally, I literally finished the film last week and wow. uh, finished on the Wednesday and actually said that's it done and then showed it on the Friday so I, you know I've been gunning it the past couple of months so I'm taking the month off and then now I've got to look for something <laughs> just another dog with a script in his mouth so you're going to have a think about it then yes one thing brilliant yes. thank you so much for talking to me okay. thank you thank you